Ah, uh, Bohemian Grove and Cremation of Care. I just want to explain something about this using my common sense. First off, I guess you can say there's a little bit of concern about that because uh, all the world's leaders go there and a lot of times people that attended became president of the United States later on. It's almost like an inside club. I guess that could be cause for concern. But I have a major contention with what Alex Jones is purporting about this. First off, he actually would seem this to hint that there's human sacrifices and Luciferian type things going on there. Well, first off, I would doubt that very much because it's a well-known location since the 1800s and even though it's private, um, it's attended by too many people and in other words if something really hideous was going on there there would be people that would actually break ranks and let let loose what was going on that's a little bit of a common sense I know it's only by invitation but anything that is really needs to be ultra secret will not be a publicly known thing that's been going on for more than a hundred years if there's really meetings that need to be go on that have to be ultra secret they will be done without public knowledge in any respect. And I'm sure there's things like that to go on. But uh, what Alex Jones is stating about the cremation of care in the Bahamian Grove, it's a bunch of hogwash. Basically, I'm going to come up with this. Um, Bohemian Grove, this is right from Wiki, but I want to give you my twist on this. It's a 2,700 acre campground located at 20,601 Bohemian Avenue in Monte Rio, California. In other words, it's well known. And uh, here's a picture of the summer of 1967, the Owls Nest Camp with two future U.S. presidents, which was Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon in 1967. They're showed a picture at Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove is an all-male membership. Um, that's where they've actually gotten some trouble for. And it's said that spiders, weaving spiders come not here, which implies that outside concerns and business deals are to be left outside. But I want to point out something, a little common sense, where if there's all these Luciferian sacrifices going on, um, let I can actually state that there's kind of proof to say that there more or less isn't anything like that going on, at least over here in this place. Uh, the membership list has included every Republican and some Democratic U.S. president since 1923. Many cabinet officials, directors, and CEOs of large corporations, including major financial institutions, major military contractors, oil companies, banks, including the Federal Reserve, utilities, including nuclear power, and national media broadcast and print, have been high-ranking officials as club members or guests. So, the real concern for this really is that it's kind of an inside club that sets policy outside the public eye since um, they it's you know it could be just conducive to producing and accentuating their own power but as far as Luciferian doctrine that sounds like a pile of garbage made up by Alex Jones since the founding of the club the Bohemian Grove's mascot has been an owl symbolizing knowledge that makes perfect sense because the owl has symbolized knowledge for thousands of years 40-foot hollow owl statue made of concrete over steel support stands at the head of the lake in the grove. The owl shrine was designed by sculptor and two-time club president Haig Patigian and built in the 1920s. Since 1929, the owl shrine has served as a backdrop for the yearly cremation of care ceremony, which is basically a stage event. It's a natural rock formation, yet it holds electrical and audio equipment within audio equipment within it. Music and pyrotechnics accompany the ritual for dramatic effect. So what Alex Jones was filming was just a show. That's all it was. Now where you could have a beef with this Bohemian Grove is that possibly people are setting policy here outside public eye. They're deciding the fate of the world, and it all depends on how honorable they are. 
you know, it's maybe they are honorable, maybe they aren't. But I want to point out something else here. Summer of 1989, spy magazine writer Philip Weiss spent some seven days in a camp posing as a desk. desk. Seven days, a hell of a lot longer than Alex Jones. So what did Philip Weiss of Spy Magazine come up with? This is like his most damning words, which tells you it's really nothing. You know you are inside Bohemian Grove when you come down a trail in the woods and hear piano music amidst a group of tents. Then around a the bend you see a man with a beer in his hand and his penis in the other peeing in the bushes. This is the most gloried in ritual of the encampment, the freedom of powerful men to pee wherever they like. Also, we noticed hundreds of cigars where smokers had ignited them in defiance of the California Forest Service post-it warnings. You know what? That sounds like pretty bad to me. I don't know. Satanic rituals? And of course, July 15, 2000, Alex Jones infiltrates the camp with his hidden cameraman and Hansen and Mike Hansen and they film the cremation of care but basically it's Alex Jones accusations and words that <laughs> are 90 percent of the drama that's surrounding this but I do want to point out there is some things wrong with this in a way um, he says, although no women have been given full membership of the Bohemian Grove, the Clean Bohemian Club, the four, there are four female honorary members. Actually, there's three now since Coolbridge was one of them. She died in 1928. So another woman member has been, no other woman has made, been made a member. In 1978, the Bohemian Club was charged with discrimination lawsuit by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing over its refusal to hire women employees. And basically, they appealed this, and they wound up lost it, and they forced the club to begin hiring female workers during the summer encampment at the Grove in Monte Rio. So, it doesn't sound like they're all powerful to me because um, they can't even get away with something like that. Um, this was about the cremation of care, and uh, the ceremony involves the pulling across the lake of a small boat containing an effigy of care. Dull care. Dark hooded figures received from the ferryman the effigy which is placed on the altar and it ended the ceremony set on fire. It's all fake. It's got pyrotechnics, it has audio speakers, and it's a big show. The cremation symbolizes members are banishing the dull cares of conscience. I don't know if you could take that as whatever, but it does not necessarily mean that it's a satanic ritual. And if it is, assume it is, assume it is as Alex Jones says it is, do you think that most of the people that attend this would actually consider that that? I would doubt it. I would highly doubt it. Music and pyrotechnics accompany the ritual for dramatic effect. Inside a natural, which it's concrete um, statue, which is covered with moss and lichen, it simulates a natural formation, yet it holds electrical and audio equipment within. So, what Alex Jones was getting was basically an audio of an audio. There was no sacrifice going on there. The guy is so full of it. It's amazing. On July 15, 2000, Austin, Texas-based filmmaker Alex Jones and his cameraman Mike Hansen infiltrated the Bohemian Grove expecting to uncover the owl statue being worth worshipped as Moloch with human sacrifices thrown in its fiery interior. So this is all Alex Jones accusation, so I don't know what the hell the deal is. Now somebody a little more reasonable, and this is where I agree with it, there was a protest organized by Mary Moore, former beauty queen turned left wing activist. Moore was less concerned with the cremation of care ceremony than with the likelihood that club members with corporate interest could gain influence in the government. See, that's probably correct. This is not Mary Moore. This is a witch. Anyway, that what is going on is you probably have a hidden set discussion of policy that goes on in the club. It's all off the record, and that could be good and bad. It could be good and bad, but basically it's kind of like a ruling class, quite obviously. But is it Luciferian? Are they doing human sacrifices? Um, that's all per Alex Jones. That's crock of crap, basically. 
they would if there was something like human sacrifices going on or something like that it would never be an event that would be held with 2700 people in attendance where you'd have to have every single one of them would have to be rigidly disciplined not to open their mouth and it wouldn't be something that would be in the same place every year now people can believe what the hell they want because some people watch a lot of movies and I seem to believe any kind of crap there is on television or whatever but it definitely would not be something like that Alex Jones has actually blown this event way out of proportion now I don't know if that's because he's a false opposition or whatever the heck he is but as far as the cremation of care in Bohemian Grove there's cause for concern because um, they basically are people that set policy behind closed doors in a lot of ways. There's a lot of, and people don't know, since ever, nothing's recorded or written anywhere, um, and everything is basically secret between what people discuss, you don't, the public doesn't, isn't aware of that, and actually these are the decision makers. So, it could be something that the public doesn't like. <laughs> That's why they keep it a secret. That's the common sense thing that's wrong with it but as far as it being luciferian i don't think so i think that's just a bunch of garbage and drama